My name is Bob Federhoff, and this is my grace story. I remember coming to the point as a little boy where I understood that I needed forgiveness that only God could offer me because of the things that I had done wrong, my own sin. It was then that I was introduced by my parents to what it means to experience God's forgiveness based on the grace that God would show me through the work that Jesus accomplished for me on the cross. And I embraced that. Now here's the deal. As I grew and became a teenager, I began to doubt a lot about what had happened earlier in my life. And I remember thinking, I wasn't sure if I'd go to heaven when I die. Somebody showed me 1 John 5.13. This is written that you might know that you have eternal life. In other words, God wanted me to know for sure that I have a relationship with him. Here's the question, how do you know? Well, just a few verses earlier, John says, the one who has the Son has the life, and the one who doesn't have the Son of God doesn't have the life. From then on, I came to understand that if I was doubting that, I was really doubting what God promised in His Word. The story of God's grace, the gospel of God's grace, is, is not just something that a pastor enjoys and experiences, but it's something for anybody to experience. And I've seen that happen over and over again. Well, my prayer for our church in the future, most of all, is that we will never lose sight of that core message, that the gospel, the life-changing power of the gospel of Jesus Christ will always be at the center of who we are. And I want to see that continue. We'll experience transitions in the future, no doubt about it. But the message has to stay the same. And I believe that God, through His grace, can allow us to enjoy that if we just focus on what is most important.